Hi, Amy with Fashion Topics here, and I'm gonna do a quick pillow tutorial, an envelope pillow uh, style, which is what I did on a previous video. You saw my finished pillow, and I told you I was gonna show you how I made it, and it's so quick and easy. And I actually thrifted some valance curtains, which I'm gonna use so I didn't have to go out and buy fabric. I got um, these curtains from the Goodwill, and they're brand new for $4.34. And I bought them because they have little roosters on them. And if you follow my channel, you have seen my guest house. My guest house, I'm really kind of getting into the whole rooster theme because it's a farmhouse. And that color actually also matches a quilt that I thrifted for the bed that's down there. So I got these balances. They look so country and I love them. And um, I'm using them to make a pillow. First of all, like I said, my pillow is 26 inch, inches square. So I opened up my package of curtains and these curtains are quite long. They are, I don't know what the tag says, but they are um, really, really long, but they're not very wide. So we're gonna have to overlap them together. Now I'm gonna start off with doing the bottom of the pillow. Now I've cut my fabric, I pre-cut some of the fabric already. So I wanted the fabric to be you want a half inch seam allowance around all sides. So I need my uh, panels of fabric to measure 27 inches. Since my pillow is 26 inches, my fabric that I'll be cutting will be 20, 27 inches long. Now, since I'm gonna be doing an envelope style pillowcase, in the back, I'm gonna need two panels. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna go ahead and move the camera down so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, hopefully you can see this. Okay, so my fabric is 27 inches long, but I'm gonna do an envelope style pillowcase. So as you can see, let me put the pillow on here, I'll show you. This is long enough, but it's not wide enough. So I have to overlap to another piece of fabric. And it, it's already got this beautiful big hemmed edge, as you can see, but that's, it's nice hem. So I'm gonna use that for the envelope. Now I need another piece of fabric and I'm gonna lay it on top. Over, I'm overlapping, I'm overlapping the fabric so that we have an envelope. So what I need to do is I need to make sure, I already know it's 27 inches this way, but now that I'm overlapping these, I need to make sure it's 27 this way. And that will determine how far I overlap my fabric. Okay. And it is 27 inches. Okay, and now I'm gonna to wanna to pin to hold this in place. Okay, so I have it all pinned together, so it's one piece of fabric now. And you can see where the envelope will be. The envelope is gonna be right here. So we can set that to the side and work on the top of our pillow. Okay, so take my balance, measure down 27 inches, and make a, make a mark. Or actually, I'm just gonna make a snip. Because I have stripes to keep my lines straight. Check my work. 27 exact. Okay, that's what's nice about working with stripes. I'm cutting on this side just because of the stripes. It makes it easier for me. Now, this is up to you. Now, you have this big, giant, huge hem. Now, you can overlap the hems and sew them together because my panel is not 27 inches this way. It is this way, but it's not this way. So I do have to add fabric. Now, I can seam rip, which since I cut that one edge, it's gonna be easy to seam rip. I can seam rip this big hem out and see how much fabric I have and see if I have enough fabric to go most of the way across so that I don't have an obvious seam in the middle of my pillow. So let me go ahead and seam rip this all open and see how much extra fabric I have. 
Okay, so I, I unpicked that big hem and it, was, it wasn't enough fabric. I couldn't even, I was gonna try to see if I could stretch to make it work and it wasn't enough fabric. So I do have to attach another piece of fabric. So I, I took the other part that I cut off and I'm just gonna overlap them to make them long enough. So I'm overlapping it. Now I gotta figure out my 27 inches. Then making as little cuts as possible. 27 inch, that's quite a bit of overlap. Let me see. Okay, so. Just overlapping them a little bit. It's, it's a quilted pattern, so I don't have to be that careful. And if you're using a solid pattern, it's the same thing. If you're using stripes, just make sure your stripes line up. So I'm just overlapping these a little bit to make my fabric longer, because this is a balance. They are, they're not very big. Now, if you were doing a normal size pillow, you wouldn't have to probably do any cutting um, because, you know, I'll show you a normal pillow. See, if you were doing a normal throw pillow, see, the one piece would be enough. But since I'm doing these enormous 26 inch pillows, um, that's why I'm having to combine fabric together to make 27, 27 inches. But Okay, now before I cut, so I don't have anything that moves, I'm going to pin these together. Worry about that. Okay, so now I'm gonna cut on my line. Okay, so now I have my top panel, which is 27 inches square. It needs a couple more pins in it. separate when I lift it up and so now we have one big panel that is 27 inches now we need just need to simply sew right down this seam line here where we pinned it together you won't be able to see it on this side because it's the same fabric so I'm gonna take it to the sewing machine and I'm just gonna sew a straight line stitch all the way down attaching these two pieces of fabric together because like I said it's not wasn't big enough to be the top of my pillow so I so adding this fabric we now have to sew the two together so I'm going to take it to the sewing machine real quick just do one straight stitch and I'll be right back okay so I attached that little extra bit of material so that it's one big 27 inch square piece now and I did have to go to the other side of the fabric because since I use that big thick hem I did go to the other side of the fabric and just top stitch along my stitching edge so it would lay nice and flat so you wouldn't notice it as much. And you don't. Can't really see where it was at. So now, so lay it out, right sides facing up. Lay my bottom piece that has the envelope in it, the big envelope right here. Right sides together. So put the right sides touching. So I'm looking at the ugly side of the pillow, which is going to be the inside of the pillow. So the right sides are, the right sides are touching each other. Okay. And as you can see, here's my envelope open. Ouch. Damn it. This is my envelope, my envelope opening right here. Okay. And now we just need to pin it together and take it to the sewing machine and we'll be done. I will take it to the sewing machine and I'll show you how we sew around the edges. But let me go ahead and get this all pinned up first. Matching up my envelope edges. And then I'm gonna pin all the way around. Okay, so now what I'm just doing, I'm gonna sew all the way around the border of the pillow. I'm doing a straight stitch. I'm doing a half inch from the edge, half inch seam allowance. And I'm gonna fix my stitch. Back stitch. Okay, and I always wanna make sure that I have my needle in the down position. I don't know if you can see this or not. Let me zoom in. Okay, you need to make sure you have your needle in the down position. 
so that when you stop, the needle is always buried into the fabric so it won't move. So I always keep my needle in the down position. It also makes it so we can pivot around the edges. So let's go ahead and sew around the edges. Forward. Okay, so now that I'm at the I'm at the bottom of the the side, I've gone all the way down the side, now I'm at the bottom, I need to make a corner. So I have my needle in the down position, I'm gonna pivot like this, this, and now I'm back at the top again. Now I'm gonna sew all the way down. Okay, now that I'm going over the envelope piece, that's a lot of fabric because I'm using the two hems together and I mean, it's, it's very thick. So I need to take it really slow so I don't break a needle. back down to the bottom of the side. Lay my needle in and pivot again. Now I have some extra fabric on here because I didn't cut it completely straight. So I will trim that off later. So pivot, now back down. Okay, down to the last side. Almost done. Pivot. Okay. okay, I'm at the end. Now I just need to back stitch. Trim our threads. Okay, now we need to take our corners and trim off the excess fabric of the corners so that they will be nice and sharp when we turn it inside out. But don't snip your threads. Do it all four corners. So I'm just taking off, not going over the stitch line, but taking off the corners. Sure my pins are out. Okay, now let's turn this back inside right and see how it turned out. You all know I'm frugal. I don't want to buy fabric if I don't have to. A lot of the fabric I get um, is either on clearance at Joanne Fabrics or with a Joanne Fabrics coupon or most of my fabric stash that I have is actually fabric that I've gotten at estate sales and garage sales. So, and this, like I said, this fabric is a valance. Oops, got a pin in there still. Is a valance that I got at the Goodwill for $4.53. Poking out all the corners. Okay, now let's try the pillow. Okay, I'm just gonna shove the pillow into the envelope. It fits. Plat the pillow back out. And voila! So now I have a quilted pillow for my bed down at the guest house. It matched the other pillow that I already made. And it has the envelope, where's my envelope? It's got the envelope back, the pillows are so big, so that I can uh, take it out to wash it. And voila. So if you find inexpensive curtains or balances at the Goodwill and um, you want to be able to 
you know, especially if they have multiple sets. If you want to make pillows out of them, it is extremely easy. So there we go, my finished pillow. Well, this is Amy with Fashion Toppings. Until next time, you have a great day.